great deal of. You have to understand when we do play them together, then the other team doesn't have the size. So it's not a it's not a fair assessment of it. But I, I thought offensively. That's what I meant. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they did some good things. Their interior passing, AJ did some good job finding people in the high post. Isaac did some good things in the low post, passing big to big, and did some easy baskets. But um, I thought the guys that were with them were really simple. PJ did a good job. Dakota did a good job moving the ball. Steven Torre and Neal uh, did some really good things. But they were simple. I mean, when you have size like that, you're, you're going to be a hair methodical. You're going to be a hair deliberate. Um, but, you know, when you're efficient, you get the ball in those sweet spots of those guys against the zone. I think some good things are going to happen. Um, but but I, I thought, you know, as, as a whole, we did some good things. But, you know, anytime you scrimmage, so, someone always does something good, some, someone does something bad in every one. I thought it was fine. Um, you know, we, did, we have to do a better job rebounding at it. Uh, when we went big and played the zone, um, we probably gave up seven or eight offensive rebounds in a 10 minute session. Obviously, that was not very good. We still won the game. Uh, but, no, we put time into it. This isn't something we just kind of spent 10, 15 minutes a day on. We, we put a lot of time into it. Uh, but we've also put some time into our zone offense. You know, a lot of, a lot of work on it. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go as we start to whittle things down and get into a rotation. You play a couple scrimmages. You play a couple of exhibition games. Uh, you try to get some things figured out. So. I think AJ was on three winning teams today. I mean, is that something you take something away from? Talk about that in the past about guys who well, sure. yeah, win I, even those little drills. I, you know, we keep track of uh, competitive drills, and I haven't even looked to see who's winning our competitive drills. I like to get two to three weeks of it, but it kind of jumps out who's winning and who's losing. Uh, you know, Stephen Torra and the Shears were on those teams too, and I played them both a lot. And I, I think the example to use there is those two guys don't try to do things they can't do. They move the ball, they take open shots, they get the ball to people who can score. They're simple. And, you know, they do their job. And uh, we, we can't have enough of that. Free throw shooting appears to be better. No question. And uh, I think when you're, people say you have a good free throw shooting team, that means you know, your top two or three guys who get fouled a lot and make good free throws. You always have a couple guys who can't make it. As long as those guys aren't the ones getting the high volume of shots. But uh, AJ Hammonds is going to get fouled a lot, and uh, anybody who drives the basketball is going to get fouled a lot. But I thought our guys did a good job of making it today. I don't know the final tally, especially late in the game. I think late in the game, more importantly, uh, our guys stepped up. What did you make of Dakota today, considering all the health issues he's had? Yeah, I thought he was great. I mean, he's not been through a full practice probably in a week and a half, two weeks. He's jumped into a couple and then got hurt right away. Mm -hmm. So he sprained his ankle twice and he's been battling uh, the effects of Bono. So I thought he was great. You know, he's a very cerebral player. The game slows down for him. You know, I thought he made some great passes and just some good decisions. Kind of a situation with him where his brain is more important than his ankles anyway, yeah. so you can just put him out there and he can still function. He's probably done the best job of anybody who's had to sit out in some years. Just watching, spending extra time you know, watching film with coaches, and you know, figuring things out from a mental standpoint. He knows what he's doing out there. It was good to see him at the end run sprints also. A lot of zone uh, in that session, and it looked pretty good. I mean, are you feeling like against, you know, you can't do it against five guards. Right. Talk about, I mean, you, you, can, you and Haas can play together, can't you? Yeah, I feel like we can play together, but uh, I would rather see how it goes against actually another team instead of practice, I mean, uh, well, against us. Right. Because uh, it's a little more, it's a little more, I feel like, easier for him because he knows exactly what our players can do and, like, how to box them out. We've been going against them so long. So I just want to see how he could go against another team, probably like the State or another team that can actually go up against us. How impressive was he today to play with and against? Oh, man, I ain't seen him go this hard in a, uh, in a minute. <laughs> he went actually a little harder today uh, than usual, but he did pretty good. He actually had a great position, uh, kept the ball kind of high, and he hit all the free throws. When you guys were playing side by side, and you were going against the zone. You had a couple of nice little connections there where he dumped the ball off. He got the ball in the baseline and found you for dunks. Do you have a nice little chemistry going with him down there? Right uh, there? We was kind of working on it before. Um, I think it was a little bit yesterday at the end of practice because uh, I coach told us we were going to end up doing it, so we might as well have worked on it. But uh, I really wasn't expecting him to actually look at me when I was diving, so that was pretty good. But other than that, yeah, we had a little more chemistry, but I just want to see how it is against another team, like I said. So is that good zone offense or bad zone defense on those dunks? I'm not going to comment. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know Isaac can play the five, probably. Do you feel like the, the, the key to you guys playing together is how well you step up and play the four? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it would be. And, like, I would say how quickly he can challenge one play and get back just in case I'm not there or some another court's not there. So it's really working on his footwork. But other than that, I feel like we got a couple things to work on, but we're pretty good for right now. Where do you feel like you still need to improve as far as being a four? Uh, mine would be just closing out and actually stopping the drive just in case they don't shoot. And like guarding the wing because I know the ball re reversed. I have to jab at that man but still get back to this man. Sometimes he cut behind me or something like that. So I just got to get used to that. Matt said a couple times last year he's, he's okay with you taking threes as long as they're good. As long as I'm a real. shots and, you know, um, and uh, prudent decisions. Obviously, you uh, I was too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> you look pretty good doing it today. Oh, uh, yeah. He's pretty just, comfortable with that physical view. Uh, he said as long as it's just a rhythm. One of them, I don't think. Uh, I passed one of them up because I didn't feel it. But other than that, he said as long as they're in rhythm and they uh, the smart shot, as long as they're not really contested, he said I'm allowed to shoot. So I'm glad about that. I feel like that can surprise some people this year, maybe. Uh, it will surprise some people. They, uh, I don't think they, but I don't think they will be expecting it. And just in case they're trying to close out kind of harder, I can't drive a little bit. I haven't slowed the game. I haven't seen it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess you had a class, but you know, point guard play is obviously huge. Uh, how did you feel like the points played today, and how have you guys been playing? Uh, I think uh, there's a lot of guys individually that play well. I think. Uh, Certain teams and match well. I don't think we played. There was a team that, been, uh, that had good chemistry. But, uh, overall, I think it went well today. I think, uh, as uh, me and PJ, I think, uh, I, think I, I played a nice four game and uh, tried to get other people involved. Uh, my shots weren't falling at all. Um, that's what I'm gonna keep working at it. And, uh, I just gotta, uh, we just gotta continue to get better from there. Can the two seven footers play together? Do you think? Yeah, it looked like it. It, it looks like sure it. did look like it. We're going, see, we're going to see it. That was the best I've ever seen him play. Right there. Um, the lights come on, that's when it really, really matters. Yeah. Speaking as a guard, why, what, what gives teams problems? From your perspective as a guard, what gives teams problems when you got two guys out there that size? Uh, just uh, getting, in, getting in the lane, just long arms, getting in the uh, passing lanes and stuff like that. So uh, Just having that big presence down there just intimidates people, I think. So offensively, this, this, it was a wreck. It was just a wreck. It was, it was tearing that paint up. Not everybody. So it was hard for us. You, you, so you, I mean, we'll ask Coach, but you think they can play together? Uh, in the game? I think I, from from the looks of it, today, that was the first. That was like the first time they they played well together. Every other time, I feel like they, you know, they they played all right, but they they played really well today. So I think they can. So they proved me. They proved me. That they could. So. You seem like you. Uh, Picked your spots pretty well today in terms of when to attack, when not to attack. Do you feel like you're just more comfortable with that now? Oh yeah, 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 most, most definitely. I feel so real comfortable with that. I feel. Uh, I wish. I wish it, my shots were falling, and then I feel, I feel like that my game would have just looked that much better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to work on it. I'm not. I'm not gonna shy away from it. I'm just gonna continue to get better. And see what I gotta do. Your Good. impressions of the zone today? Uh, I thought the zone, uh, the zone went well. I think uh, a lot of some, some shooters did well. Some shooters didn't. We couldn't really get Kendall going. Uh, Dakota got a good, good couple of shots, but I think I think the zone went well for us defensively. Uh, uh, besides when uh, Big AJ and uh, Isaac were together, that was, that was tough. So, but I think overall, I think, uh, there's that, that one play you made. I, I think AJ. Got